Hello, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> I thought you were going to come 3D right through the screen. I was, I was. Oh. <laughs> so, my friends, guess what? I'm a ballerina. No, I'm not. This is the last episode in our New Year's Evolution series. And we wanted to talk about what you gain from a weight loss journey. Because like we said the whole way through, it's, it's not a diet. This is a lifestyle change. So when you change your lifestyle and you follow all the tips um, or you modify them to your, to your needs, um, when you start losing weight, you're going to gain so much. Not just externally, but internally too. You know, like externally, you're going to fit into new clothes. You're going to look better. You're going to feel better. You're going to be able to walk up the stairs without being out of breath. You're going to be able to keep up with your kids if you're a parent. You're going to be able to sit on the floor and stand up. I remember that was, I never wanted to sit on the floor. You're not going to have to worry about breaking furniture. That was one of my fears, was sitting on a chair. I always had to make sure it was sturdy. I was terrified to sit in plastic lawn chairs, um, anything not really sturdy, because I was afraid that I was going to break it or that... Like, or that I wouldn't be able to get out of it. Barbecues were the worst because oh. everyone always brings those cheap fold-up chairs. And yes. I, we couldn't sit in any of them. <laughs> no. And we had these um, plastic uh, lawn chairs that I would get stuck in, lit, physically stuck in. They would stick to my butt because it was so big. And it was so embarrassing. And I never wanted to sit, so I always stood. But standing was painful too. So all of that stuff is going to change for you. But the most, those are tons of amazing things to look forward to. But the most important things that you might not even think of right now, um, the greatest things, the more that you heal, internal things are going to happen. Confidence. You're going to start loving who you are and accepting yourself for who you are. You're going to be able to um, live. Your life is going to be completely different. You're going to start loving life. Not only those, but you will eventually develop a healthy relationship with food if you treat it as a lifestyle change and you work on your internal things like your emotional eating. You will be able to have food in the house and these will all take time, but these things come with a lifestyle change. Another thing, you're going to be able to not only love yourself better, you're going to be able to love your kids better, your husband, yes. your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, because your whole outlook is going to change from negative to positive on every aspect of life. You're just going to have like the best outlook on life. Yeah. You're, you're going to be so amazed and proud of how far you came. Your, your relationship with food is a huge one and it will take time but it will come you will have a healthier relationship you won't need to eat that whole bag of chips eventually you'll be able to leave it until it's time to eat the chips you'll feel lighter you know? not only physically mentally, mentally you'll be lighter you'll be more gentle on yourself you'll love yourself more like we were saying earlier you're just gonna feel like a completely different person and when you look back on the person that you used to be you won't ever believe that they were the same i know often kyle and i look back at pictures of ourselves from before or reminisce i guess that isn't the greatest word but look back on how we used to be and how we used to feel and we can't even remember or believe that we used to be in the bodies that we were in before because we have such a lifestyle now that we we love we love ourselves we love you know everything about our life together and we created that by knowing that we always wanted to be here that we always wanted to be healthy and not be emotional eaters and to have a healthy relationship with food and everything gets so much better you're treated better when you're in better shape even though you know that's something most people don't want to talk about or acknowledge when you go into stores your 
the customer service you receive when you're more fit is so much better. People look at you differently. They take you more seriously. They talk to you like you're human. They're more polite, more They're patient more with you. Yes, it, it's completely, it's so different. And you, you just, you feel like a different person and you are. And it's really. not always, it's not all, always like blaming, oh, the world is mean and that. No. Because when you're confident in yourself, you're giving off a different energy to those yes. people as and, well. And that is another reason why you receive better treatment because you now are more open and less closed off than you were before. Yeah. Um, but there, there are just so many amazing things that when you make that commitment that you're worth it. And, and another thing I wanted to mention was... I often will look back and, and think, I must have really not liked myself to treat my body like that, um, to stuff it with food when I was upset or even if I was happy or and for any reason at all, I made an excuse to stuff my body with food even when I wasn't hungry, even if I didn't like the food. And now when I choose to eat, I'm choosing the food. I'm in control of the food. I'm in control of me now. I don't let things control me. I control the situation and my life. You will be able to too. So um, those are, are, aside from the external things, those are some real motivators that we wanted to talk to you about. Some real things to motivate you um, to help you get ready to change your life. If you ever feel like you might be um, starting to talk negative to yourself again, or if you're having a day where you're really struggling, one thing that um, I learned when I was healing from my eating disorder um, that you know I used quite often um, because it was such a great idea that I wanted to share with you guys, and um, Kyle actually reminded me to share this with you, is get a picture of yourself when you were a kid. You know, um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be you as a kid. It can be, you know, if you feel more comfortable, it could be your own child or it could be your husband or your spouse um, when they were a child um, or any child that means a lot to you. And try telling the picture all of the negative things that you were telling yourself. Because chances are you couldn't tell these children um, the things that you were telling yourself. Imagine yourself talking to your spouse like that or to your child or to a child that you really care about. Go back in time and tell yourself as a kid and say you're fat, you're lazy, you better feel guilty for that brownie you ate. Yeah, imagine, you know, imagine you going back, picturing your adult self talking to your child self and it's incredibly hard to tell a child um, especially ones dressed in costume, um, <laughs> that they are terrible people, that they're idiots because they ate too much or, um, you know, it's all your fault, you're fat. And try, that, try telling, yeah. you know, a child that. It's very difficult. That little mental exercise really sometimes helped us snap out of that um, guilty, um, like toxic emotional cycle yeah and um also you can also post pictures of you know what you as a kid or whoever you choose um as a child picture you can put them everywhere so that if you look in a mirror and you always talk negative to yourself when you're looking in a mirror have a picture of that of a child there so that you can immediately look to that child and try to tell them the negative thoughts. And then of course you'll have to try to make it positive so that you can tell a child something positive. Yeah. Um, it really does work, so give it a try. Um, so thank you guys so much for you know coming and joining us on our, our series. We really hope that this inspires you guys, um, gives you a, an idea of how to start, it gives you the tools you need. And inspires you in a deeper way than you know, losing just wanting weight. to lose weight, yeah. but to change yourself and to think about yourself differently than you may be now to look at yourself as worthy of being loved and of being treated gently, 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 gently. So thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed this series. Um, we have tons more stuff coming. Um, 
So don't don't go to sleep. Stay <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned to this channel. Yeah. Don't change the channel. Cause if you do, you forget. And if you don't check us out on Instagram, and if you don't like and subscribe, you're getting the costume babies of doom. <laughs> and you're gonna get carrots glued to your legs. <laughs> Cause that's what bunnies do, right? They have carrots glued to their legs. My mom made it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna get an authentic, realistic Transformers <laughs> costume. And people will think you're an actual transformer and it's not a plastic mask and a t-shirt <laughs> and rubber boots. And carrot knees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Bye guys. Bye.